it's Abby Andrew back on the Renee of Paris channel today for another live stream. Uh, this is one I'm really excited about um, and I'm all prepared for it with the wig I'm wearing right now. Um, I'm going to get into talking about all sorts of fun hair colors and tips on how to get comfortable wearing them. So in case you don't know me, uh, my name is Abby and I'm the Alopecia Ambassador for Renee of Paris's channels for Instagram and our YouTube channel. And I make all sorts of videos giving tips on wearing wigs and having fun with them and all that stuff. Um, but if you don't know my backstory, I've had alopecia since I was about two years old. And um, growing up, I started to get uh, really self-conscious about having alopecia as I was growing up. And between the ages of about, I would say about starting at age 11 until the age of about 18 years old, I was really self-conscious about my alopecia and I started wearing wigs and I would only wear one specific hairstyle and color all the time because I didn't want people to know it was a wig. And for some people that works and that's uh, what makes you feel most confident, but for me that was hurting my confidence over time. And the wigs I was wearing were so realistic and beautiful that no one ever questioned if it was a wig for the most part, which was really nice uh, for when I was more insecure about it. But as I got older, I decided I wanted to get more comfortable wearing different hair colors and styles all the time because instead of treating it like this big secret, I really liked the idea of being able to have fun with it and switch it up all the time. So it did take me a little while to get comfortable and um, confident enough to change my wigs as often as I do now. So I'll talk about how I got there today and give you some tips if you're trying to get to that place yourself. But this video is specifically about wearing bright, fun hair colors as well, because there's some of you as well that might change your wigs regularly and love wearing wigs, but maybe some of the brighter colors are a little bit more daunting. So I'm also going to give tips for just getting yourself used to wearing the bright, fun colors as well, even if you do already change your wigs a ton. So as you're watching, feel free to leave comments and questions. There's like the question feature below that you can click um, if you don't want people to see your question publicly and then only I'll see it. Um, so, and also if you're watching this after it's already posted, whenever we go live, we end up posting them on our IGTV later. So if you do miss any of our live streams, then go watch it on IGTV and you can also leave questions or send us messages with any questions you have later as well. So starting with the wig I'm wearing right now, this one is Posh. This one is from the Orchid Collection, and this color obviously is one of the bright, fun colors. I am in love with this wig style and this color. This is the color called Aqua Paradise. Um, someone said, I have the wig Zion and Melted Plum. So far, she's the craziest I've gotten. That's so funny because I do, I, I actually, I don't have my Melted Plum wig in front of me. That is a color I love. Um, I wish I took that out to show you all, but I do have, um, uh, plumberry jam that I'm going to show you guys later, which is kind of a similar color to melted plum, but that is definitely a fun one. Uh, something else I was going to talk about a little bit later is how maybe some of the really bright colors, maybe you don't like wearing those for yourself, but there are some colors that are bright and fun, but not so over the top that those are a really great like middle ground for some people that want to be a little more experimental, but don't necessarily want to go all the way to the blue end of the spectrum. Melted plum is definitely one of those, and uh, I'm going to talk about this more later, but Plumberry Jam is also kind of in that category, in my opinion, uh, a color that's bright and fun, but maybe not like as intense as blue. <laughs> so I love the fun colors, and I think that um, they, they just look good on everyone. They're so fun. You can like wear cool like makeup with them, and they just look awesome. So even if you're not someone that like typically wears them, I think anyone can enjoy a fun hair color every now and then, um, even if you're just wearing it around the house or something like that. So just some quick backstory again on how I got comfortable myself changing wigs more often is I just kind of very slowly started to kind of test the waters with it at first. I used to always wear the Cody wig in Creamy Blonde uh, from Amore, which is an amazing, beautiful wig. That was kind of like my go-to hairstyle for so long. So when I started to test the waters with changing wigs more often, what I would do is try wearing the same Creamy Blonde color in a longer style or wearing the same Cody that I always wore in a different color to kind of only change one aspect of what I was used to to just kind of ease into changing wigs more often. And then from there, it just kind of um, expanded. I started to wear more brunette colors and then I started to wear all sorts of lengths and just change it up all the time. And then how I started to get myself comfortable wearing more fun, bright colors is I actually started experimenting with it using costumes and cosplay. 
So the wigs that I'm going to show you from the Renee of Paris lines, they're not like exclusively costume wigs or anything like that, but they are such bright fun colors that they work so well for so many cosplay characters. And as a cosplayer myself, that was my way of getting myself used to wearing these bright fun wigs out and about um, in a different context. Because then when I got used to wearing them in, a co in the cosplay costume context, then it was like I felt a little bit more comfortable to start wearing them out regularly with like regular day clothes like this. Like this is totally an outfit that I would wear normally. Um, I don't consider this cosplay at all. And so this wig is perfect for either. And something else that's really great about the Renee of Paris wigs that I'm going to show you, a lot of these I have. Just, I'll just flash a couple on the screen really quick to give you a sneak preview of the ones I'm going to show as I go. Um, we have this beautiful color, and we, that's a Lilac Cloud. We have Plumberry Jam, Royal Emerald, kind of a similar color but different, and I'll get into the differences in a bit. And then we also have Dusty Rose here that I'm going to talk about and show. Um, so yeah, so the fun thing about these Renee of Paris wigs is the fact that they're not like your average like costume wig. Like when you, usually when you see bright fun colors that are like costume wigs, the thing that makes those look so fake and costumey is the usually the poor cap construction and the poor hair quality for like cheap cheap wigs. Um, they usually end up being shiny, the cap isn't realistic or anything like that. So the great thing about these wigs that I'm going to show are the things that make them look realistic despite being a fun, bright color are things like the hairline. Like you can see this wig here, uh, this is Posh from the Orchid Collection. It has an incredible lace front and lace part. And you could just see, like most people would never even know that was a wig if they're not familiar with how good wigs can be these days. So that's super natural and realistic. So. Some, one fear that someone might have in, when you're experimenting with a bright color is that people are going to know it's a wig more easily just because of the bright color. But with these features like the lace front and the lace part, th those make it look so realistic that it ends up looking like your own hair that's just dyed a fun color. It's funny to talk about blue hair in terms of being realistic or not because of course no one's going to think that it's like your natural hair color, but when I say realistic I just mean in terms of looking like it's your hair growing out of your head. And something else I want to touch on as well is I, I talk a lot about um, if it looks like realistic or if people are going to know it's a wig or anything like that. When I was younger and more insecure with alopecia, I was so afraid of anyone knowing I was wearing a wig. And now I don't care at all. So even if people realize I'm wearing a wig, I, I tell them openly and I think that's a lot of fun. Um, but I know that there are some people that if they're wearing a wig, they don't want anyone to know. So if you are in that category, I think you can wear these wigs and feel confident that people aren't going to necessarily know it's a wig unless you want them to um, with features like the lace front and the lace part. And another good tip that I have as well is if you are getting yourself used to wearing a bright, fun color like this, um, before leaving the house, I would, like the first time you, when you first get the wig, I would just experiment with all sorts of fun hairstyles on it and just wear it around the house a bit to get yourself used to wearing it before going out. Like this wig, for example, looks so cute down. Posh is a wig that I feel like would look good in any color, but it's just so perfect in the Aqua Paradise color. But one style I love wearing this wig in is if you just put it in like a little ponytail or something like that. You can do all sorts of basic things, like add a little headband, add a little ponytail. And I think that also kind of helps it look more natural as well and more like a casual style because it just looks like you just kind of casually tied your hair back for the day. It kind of looks like your own, your own hair dyed blue. And something else I would definitely recommend as well if you're getting used to changing up colors is just wear it around the house and take lots of selfies. Just like take pictures, make yourself feel confident, dress up fun, and just like really just like vibe with it in your own home because then if you feel good about how it looks in your pictures or in the mirror, then when you leave the house, you're gonna know that you're rocking it and you're not gonna feel as self-conscious. So definitely kind of get comfortable wearing it before leaving the house um, and then you're, you're going to feel a lot better about it. Um, what hair bobble do you use that doesn't damage the fibers? Someone just asked. So you actually don't need to use any specific types of hair accessories or anything. You can just use your regular hair accessories. So what I just used um, was it just a regular hair tie. So you don't have to worry about the hair ties damaging the fiber. Of course, if you want to make sure your wig stays in good shape as long as possible, you just want to do it really gently um, and that'll help keep the hair looking nice, but you, you can really just use normal accessories. 
So I'm going to move on to one of these other fun colors that I have in front of me because I have four other wigs to show you of four of my other favorite colors from the Renee of Paris lines. Um, so let's see, which one do I want to pull out next? Let's pull out this one. This is one of my absolute favorites. This one I was wearing a ton when I first got it. So it's a little bit, uh, I've worn it a bunch already just so you know, so it's a little bit more worn, but it still looks like it's in pretty good shape. But this wig is um, Divine Waves in Lilac Cloud from the Muse collection. This is such a fun color. What I like about this color is if you look at these side by side, this one, Aqua Paradise, I love this color, but it's so, it's so bright and vibrant, which I love. But if you also want something that's a little bit more toned down, I love the way that Lilac Cloud is purple. Like you can still tell it's purple but it's a little bit more toned down that it's not as bright. So there's other options that you can go with if you don't want something that's really bright. So putting aside Posh for now, let's put on Divine Waves from the Muse collection. Okay. For anyone just joining us, uh, I'm just talking about different fun hair colors and ways to get yourself comfortable wearing them out and about. Oh my gosh, I haven't put this wig on in a little while and this just reminded me how much I love this wig. This is Divine Waves from the Muse collection. Such a perfect style and color. So even though this is clearly purple and a bright color, um, it's kind of like a muted, it's called Lilac Cloud, so it's kind of like a cloudy purple. So it's not as bright and vibrant as Aqua Paradise. So if you want to try experimenting with fun colors, this might be a really great option as well because it's just a little bit more toned down. It's so it's a little more subtle. And again, this wig has that extremely natural looking um, hairline and part, the lace front, lace part. So again, this is going to really look like your own hair just dyed purple. So you don't have to worry about people thinking, assuming it's a wig, because it already looks so natural. But this wig is so gorgeous. The great thing about this wig is that it's also um, heat friendly, so you can use heating tools on it. I just love these waves though. I don't think I want to pull it, put a straightening iron to these waves, these little curls. They are just so cute. So yeah, this is a great example of maybe a less bright, but still really fun color that maybe makes it a little bit more wearable for people who aren't used to wearing bright, fun colors all the time. Okay, now I'm going to talk about a category of bright colors. So another feature that might make it look like it's your own hair growing out of your head. Um, is rooted wigs. So this is this is the color Royal Emerald on the wig Envious. This is from the Orchid collection. So these two wig colors are actually pretty similar. Um, this one's maybe a little bit more green and this one's a little more blue, but the, this, the color is very, very similar. So this one is Aqua Paradise. This one is Royal Emerald, but the difference is that Royal Emerald is rooted. So that's a nice feature that can allow it to look like you had dyed your hair and it's just kind of growing out a little bit. So that kind of just adds another element of realism if you do like that. So let me switch to this wig, another favorite. This one also has a really nice lace front and lace part. I'll show you what that looks like here. It's actually different on these two wigs. So they both have a lace front and lace part, but it's kind of shaped a bit differently. So this is um, Divine Waves, Lace Front, Lace Part, and then this is Envious from the Orchid Collection. So the main difference is that the lace part is a little bit less uh, wide, so this one is mostly in that one area. But they both are very realistic because of that. <laughs> Every time I put one of these wigs on, I'm like, oh, this one's my favorite, and then I switch it to a different one, and I'm like, oh wait, no, this one's my favorite. This is also another um, heat friendly color and style. So you can like style it differently if you want or straighten out these waves, but this is so cute. So as you can see, the difference uh, with the roots is really nice because then it almost looks like your, your own roots growing in, which helps make it look a little more realistic. So that's also a nice tip. Um, it's just getting rooted wigs in general, whether you're just trying a different color for the first time. Like let's say you always wear brunette wigs and even if you want to just try like a blonde wig, for example, uh, a rooted wig might make you feel more comfortable and just like feel more comfortable seeing yourself in it. Because if you're already used to seeing yourself in brown hair, then when you're wearing a rooted wig with dark roots, you're, that same color is still kind of near your face area. So 
the color you're used to seeing on your head is still there, but it's just kind of mixed in with other fun colors. So another great color section that might be good for that as well are the long rooted colors because the long, here, I think I have, my Plumberry Gem is actually a long rooted color. So I'm just gonna switch to that one now. So this is Plumberry Jam LR, which stands for Long Rooted. This is my Angelica wig from the Noriko line. Long rooted colors are also a great option for if you maybe aren't comfortable wearing bright colors completely, but you want to start dabbling in them. So there's a lot of different types of long rooted colors that might be like brunette on top and blonde at the bottom. So it's almost like just changing the hair color of the tips of your hair, but not the roots. So it's kind of like a middle ground between two colors. Just using my detangling comb, because I just pulled this out a little while ago, but this wig is awesome. And this is another example of a bright, fun color that is also like kind of maybe not as experimental. It's kind of, it's, it's funny to talk about because I love and wear all these colors on a regular basis, but like, for example, I might be a little more hesitant to wear like bright blue hair to work. This might be a wig that I typically wear um, out with friends or in my own house or if I'm doing my own thing. But then if going to work, however, I think a color like this is kind of more office appropriate. It depends where you work as well. I'm just talking about like ultra, um, like maybe dress coded type of offices and things like that um, that maybe don't want their employees to have blue hair but then colors like plumberry jam and dusty rose i feel like are more um i guess like corporate types of bright fun colors if that makes sense i'm kind of talking about it in terms of like which ones i wear to work and which ones i wear out with friends so it's very different for everybody but like i was actually wearing this to work recently for a good while um, and i feel like it's a very it's a bright, fun color, and it's clearly dyed, but it's like a little bit more subtle. Whereas oh, where I work, nobody would actually like care about me having blue hair, but it's stuff definitely a little bit more eye-catching. <laughs> Someone said, uh, I have melted marshmallow LR in Kai and Dakota, so I totally agree with the people who prefer the roots. Yeah, I think roots are a really great option, and it's great for if you want to try changing your hair color, but not completely, especially if you are someone that typically wears brunette colors and you want to try a bright, fun color. So on this one, the roots are kind of still reddish, but on this one, the roots are very brunette. So if you're used to seeing that kind of hair color on your head, then you can try the blue, experiment with the blue, but still have the roots. And the colors, like you mentioned, Melted Marshmallow, that's another uh, one of my favorites. That one has like the brunette kind of on top, and then it turns into this golden blonde with these really light blonde tips. That one's really beautiful as well. So it's a really great way to just experiment with other colors, but not take yourself completely out of your comfort zone. But if you're someone that wears wigs, I do encourage you to try stepping out of your comfort zone. If you're someone that wears just brunette colors all the time and you're comfortable with that, that's amazing if that works for you. But I would still, I, I think it's a lot of fun to at least experiment with other colors, even if you're just wearing it around the house or wearing it in pictures. So I would encourage you to maybe try other colors if you don't already. Because like I was saying before, I used to wear the same one color and one style for years, which was Cody in Creamy Blonde from the Amore collection. Beautiful style and I still love it. I still have a Cody in my collection, but that was the only wig that I ever wore because I was so afraid of people knowing that I was wearing wigs or anything like that. But now it's like a whole new playing ground. Like now I change my wigs all the time and it's so much fun and I couldn't imagine just being restricted to one hairstyle and color anymore. So it did take me time to get used to changing it up, but now it's just so much fun that I could never imagine going back. So if you are someone that's maybe not comfortable changing your wigs all the time, maybe just try experimenting with it around the house or maybe if you're just with close friends. I think it's a lot of fun. And then when you get used to wearing different hair colors, then you can start wearing them and switching it up all the time. So that's another great tip as well, is if you are getting yourself used to wearing a bright new fun color, wearing it immediately to the office or something like that might be a little daunting because, you know, depending where you work and how close you are with your coworkers, if you don't know some of your coworkers very well and they see you change your hair color, they might be like asking you like questions or like, maybe that just makes you a little bit more nervous. So to get yourself used to wearing a fun color, just try wearing it out with friends or something like that first. 
or just around your friends or send, send your friends a picture of it or something and just kind of get comfortable wearing it out in general. And then you're, when you're comfortable wearing it out in the world, maybe like going go to the store, go to the grocery store wearing a fun wig uh, because you're probably not going to run into anyone you know. You can kind of gauge people's reactions to it. And then once you're comfortable just leaving the house with it, then you can start getting comfortable going to school or work with it as well. And the last color I'm gonna show here, this one is my Dusty Rose and Breezy Waves. So this one is a great uh, example of a fun color that I would still wear to work because I literally was just wearing this to work for um, a couple weeks. When I change my wigs to go to work, I don't change them on a daily basis as much because I, I don't wanna confuse my coworkers that much. Um, but I kinda just switch to one wig and then wear it for a few weeks, switch to another wig, wear that one for a few weeks. So I was just wearing this to the office for a couple weeks. I would change them more often at my job, but I work in a, a, a kind of freelance world and it's already hard enough for people to recognize me if I'm like a new person they just met. So I don't wanna make it even harder by changing my hair every single day. So I kind of just do it in like sections. So I'll wear like one wig for a few weeks, switch to another one for a few weeks. Um, someone just asked, do you have anything in Plum Dandy? I don't think I do have anything in Plum Dandy, but that's, I think if I'm thinking of the right color, that one is really beautiful. Um, I have Plumberry Jam here, and then there's Melted Plum, which is kind of a similar color, and uh, Plum Dandy is kind of in that same family of colors, so it's really beautiful. Um, if you go on the website, you can definitely see more pictures of Plum Dandy on there if you are curious about it. Oh, this wig is so cute. Honestly, every single wig that I put on, I'm like, oh, I have to start wearing this one like regularly now. And then, because I typically, like I was saying, I have my go-to wig that I wear consistently, maybe for like a couple, like two weeks, and then I'll switch to a different one for like two weeks. So I still change them very, very often, but I kind of have like a go-to wig in that time frame. So I've been wearing this one to work a lot lately, as I was saying. I suppose my microphone is so visible. I thought I had it a little more hidden, but. <laughs> It kind of blends in with the black shirt, right? But this wig I've been wearing to work a lot tied back like this. As If you see my page or you see me talk about wigs on here a lot, I, this is a style that's kind of like my go-to. It's just I feel like it's just a great way to make any style look a little bit more casual if you want a more casual look, which I typically do if I'm going to work. So I think it just makes it a little bit more casual. And I think that helps make it feel more wearable for like a casual day with these bright, fun colors because then it just looks like just a cute, comfortable hairstyle. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but it just makes me feel more comfortable. So I think that's just something, you just have to find these tricks that make you feel more comfortable and it's very different from person to person. So for me, tying it back makes me get used to wearing a new color or a new style. So for you, maybe it's like wearing a headband, maybe it's wearing a hat. You just kind of find these tricks that work for you. And again, if, if you don't feel comfortable leaving the house with a new color, then just get comfortable wearing it around the house. Try changing your makeup is another big tip as well. When I wear different hair colors, I am always changing my eyebrows. So I can show you, like when I wear a more natural color, I might, or, or a blonde color, I do much lighter eyebrows. Let me actually get my eyebrow pencil to show you. Here we go. I just piled all my wigs on top of the brush I was going to use to show. So these brows I might wear with a wig like this. Any of my bright colors, I typically like to make my brows a little bit darker and more arched. If I have a dark root, I typically go for a darker brow as well because it makes sense for your eyebrow to match your root. Whereas if I'm wearing a light blonde color, I might kind of like lighten this up a bit to make it look like more blonde eyebrows. So if you are gonna be experimenting with wearing different colors, then definitely try doing different makeup. If you are wearing something like posh, like I was wearing in the beginning in Aqua Paradise, you can have a lot of fun like even matching your eyeshadow to your hair. That's something that's a lot of fun. Or even like matching your clothes to your hair. Typically, if I'm wearing bright colors, I wear a lot of black clothing because I feel like black just goes with everything. That's why I wore black for this video because I knew I would be cycling between a ton of different wigs in this video. <laughs> but you can even like, if I'm wearing a blue hair, maybe wear a blue shirt. That's something fun to do. But yeah, try experimenting with like blue eyeshadow. When I'm wearing fun colors like this, I typically do a little bit heavier eyeliner. I do darker brows, maybe more of an arched brow. 
And I typically also, this is just a personal thing, but I typically also wear more of a neutral lip when I'm wearing bright colors because then it just kind of goes with anything. And I also typically wear, oops, I just dropped the lipstick. I also typically wear like heavier blush if I'm wearing bright fun colors because I feel like it looks more like, I, I like to go for a cartoonish look sometimes, but again, you just find what works for you, what makes you feel comfortable and confident. So experiment with all sorts of different makeup. I don't want to put this wig on again because this one was so fun. <laughs> So yeah, if I'm wearing just like a typical blonde or brunette, my makeup might be a little bit more toned down than this, maybe like less eyeliner, less blush, but if I am wearing a bright foot color, I do like a little bit more dramatic makeup, and I think that works nicely. So if you do try any of these tips, if you try any of these colors, definitely tag us at Renee of Paris. You can even tag me personally, Abby Andrew. Uh, my Instagram is abbyandrewyt. If you ever uh, try out a certain wig color, I would love to see it because I think trying different wigs is so much fun and I think everyone should kind of experiment with it and dabble with it. If you like a certain color and you want to know what styles it's available in, you can also go onto the website reneeofparis.com and you can search by color as well. So let's say you really like um, Aqua Paradise, you can search by color or search Aqua Paradise and see all the styles it's available in. Same with like Dusty Rose, just search Dusty Rose and it'll show the other styles. Um, because there is another wig from the Muse collection that's kind of similar to Breezy Waves, but it's a bit longer. So if you like a longer wig, you can get the color in that instead. And there's certain colors that I would just like, there's certain wigs that I just wanna have like in every color, like this one for example, or um, Posh is one that I would love to have in like every single color. So <laughs> that's always a lot of fun to like switch it up. If there's a style you like, you can try all sorts of um, different colors in the same style because if it's a style you're already comfortable wearing, that, that's a really great tip in general that I mentioned earlier if you missed it, is if you are going to be experimenting with trying different colors and you're maybe not comfortable doing it yet, then try wearing a style that you already know and love. So the style is something you're already comfortable with, but then try the same style in a new color because then you could just experiment but still have a little bit of the comfort zone by having the same style so yeah and you can also go on the Renee of Paris website and search by length so maybe if the style that you're used to wearing isn't necessarily available in a different color that you want you can try to find a similar like let's say you like short wigs you can search by short wig and then see other kind of similar styles that might be available in more colors if you want to try those and if you, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you do ever miss any of our live streams and you want to come back and watch them later, or if you're watching live and you just wanna kinda go back and see something I said before that you might have missed, or like go back and check what a certain wig style or color was, all of our, our, our Instagram lives go onto our IGTV later. So you can always go back and rewatch old lives that uh, you might have missed or just want to rewatch. We also make some content uh, on our YouTube channel as well. YouTube, uh, the YouTube name is Renee of Paris, of course. So you can search there for other wig tips and tutorials. Again, I talk about wig tips from the perspective of someone who is bald and has alopecia and wears different wig and hair colors all the time. And then we have Alexander who is a internationally award-winning hairstylist and he has some obviously amazing tips for hairstyling and then we have Danny, Texas wig fairy, who um, is a wig store owner and a wig wearer, and she knows all about trying different fun hairstyles and modifications on wigs. So we all kind of look at it from a different perspective. So there's videos on our channels for anyone, whether you're someone who has alopecia, whether you're a wig store owner. So we like to try to make um, a little bit of something for everyone. And if you ever do have any specific requests, we would love to do either a video or a live stream if we think that it would help some more people. So if you ever have specific questions, please do feel free to message us on in our DMs at Renee of Paris on this account, or you can also message me personally on my own Instagram, abbyandrew.yt. Um, you can find me over there. DM me if you ever have questions about a certain wig color or about experiencing alopecia or anything like that um so i'll just love that color thank you so much I, i'm in love with this color too i haven't worn this wig in a little while now and i might just have to start wearing this more often again because 
it's so cute but it's so hard to choose like when you have all these awesome amazing bright fun colors like how do you choose which one to wear more often like i've been wearing breezy a ton i've been wearing posh and aqua paradise a ton this one i was wearing a ton back in like august and september but it's it's i go through cycles you know <laughs> so it's just so fun to change your hair that often literally changing it on like literally a daily basis so if you aren't someone that experiments with different colors and styles and you feel like maybe you wouldn't be comfortable i would urge you to try it out if you're able because i think it's so much fun even if you just start getting yourself comfortable by wearing it around the house wearing it in pictures wearing it with your friends i think it's something that once you get used to it you will be so happy you did because i've come from a place of only wearing one style and color very strictly to now I wear every style and color and it's just a whole new world of fun hairstyles. Um, someone said, I need a new fun color. Yes, you do need a new fun color. I need a new fun color. I have all these new fun colors and I still need more. <laughs> all right guys, thank you so much for watching this live stream with me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would also recommend, by the way, uh, this wig that I'm wearing here, Divine Waves, and this wig that I'm wearing, Breezy Waves. If you do want to try a color, a bright new fun color, but you don't know how often you'll wear it, I would definitely recommend checking out the Muse collection that we have. These are both from the Muse collection because that line is a little bit more on the affordable side. So if you want to try experimenting with these beautiful fun colors like these, they're a little bit of a lower price point. So you can experiment without putting in a huge investment if you aren't sure if you're going to wear it often. And I think you will end up wearing it often. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching and definitely check out our YouTube channel for more content from me and Alexander and from Danny as well. Um, someone said I'm currently wearing Taylor and Melted Plum and I love it. Yes, that sounds amazing. You should definitely post a picture and tag us because I would love to see that. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you very soon.